So this is great to be here. I have to say, though, having been told by about 10 different people that there'd be walk-up music, um, I'm actually a little disappointed in the walk-up song. How many of you really would have wanted to hear Baby Shark? So why don't we all start with a Baby Shark for the Nats, right? Let's, <laughs> come on, where's the Nats fans? <laughs> all right. That was a warm-up exercise. Uh, great to be here. This is a fabulous event. We have about 300 plus people here in the room, another thousand or so remotely. If you can add, that's about 1,300 people. And if you can do some basic math, that's about 10% of the IG community. So think about that for a minute. Um, it's really remarkable. And it grows out of an idea for, from what, six, this is the sixth annual, I was trying to remember, was five or six? Sixth annual um, leadership forum. And it's come and grown to this level. And it's great that we are able to speak to 10% of the community today. And it's even better that it's about an e the, the issue of leadership. Because that's what the community needs to develop, um, our leaders. Um, we are continuing to grow as a community. Um, it, it, we are about to have our 74th IG shop open. Congress passed legislation last year creating a new IG at a combined agency that was just created. Um, so we're continuing to grow and develop as a community. And what better themes, issues to talk about than leadership, and most importantly, leading change, leading people, leading organizations. Um, we talk about this at my OIG, um, how leadership is everybody's responsibility and everybody gets to own being a leader. We've had great success in our organization with that principle and with that idea, um, making sure that um, everybody knows that you, you can push forward ideas, take control of ideas, and come together as a group to um, foster change, foster collaboration, uh, and empower everybody throughout the organization that way. We're going to hear from a lot of different people today with those thoughts and ideas from relatively new members of the community to relatively more senior members of the community. Um, and you're going to get a wide range of thoughts. Um, you're going to hear about um, washing your car or not washing your car, um, win, uh, ketchup packets, all courtesy of Mark Greenblatt, um, who's going to be talking about some issues and ideas he's got from that topic. So that's a good one to think about. Um, we're going to hear from Margaret Weikert um, at the lunch break, who is someone who's been very involved in um, in government in the last couple of years of helping to try to lead change at both OMB and OPM, but um, has a long career actually of being someone involved in change. She has a background in developing um, various technologies and many patents and really working to change cultures. And um, so that's, it's great to have her here as well. And as you know, she's the SIGI executive chair and has been very supportive of SIGI and very involved in um, our work. So, so glad she's here. Um, I want to thank uh, Jackie Phillips and Elise Stein for helping to put this event together. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> They're here somewhere. Um, and want to thank Bob Westbrooks and the PDC for developing this to what it is today. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. To all the members of the PDC for your efforts. Uh, and what you've got going today um, is um, something that I know from last year's event, where this idea sort of blossomed and developed, the TED Talk idea, and a day filled with those discussions and thoughts focused on certain issues. Um, I've uh, seen all. I, Watched those last year, and you know, immediately afterwards, I actually couldn't make last year's event um, because of work, 
And so I was disappointed. I got to, of course, watch it remotely, thanks to Stephanie Logan, who gave a great talk last year and um, has been involved in a lot of the change efforts here. And it was such a thrilling event last year to see those talks, to hear people in the community, again, from more junior people to more senior people, talk about um, what they'd done in, in these efforts. And you're going to hear from some people today as well who have been involved in really affecting change in the organization. And when I talk about, and when they talk about owning ideas and pushing forward ideas, um, one of the great examples of that, frankly, is Oversight.gov, which started with a small group of people in the community led by Postal OIG who thought that would be a good idea. That didn't start with some uh, um, you know, appropriation from Congress and some effort by leadership at SIGI to pull that together. That really was an effort from the ground up. Um, so was um, something that Elise Stein was involved in and helped lead, which was the peer reviews for our INE community, which had taken a fairly long time, as Elise can tell you, um, to get a decade maybe. Um, and with thanks to Elise's leadership, in pulling the community together, we now have peer reviews in the INE community, which are critical to what we do and, and core to our mission. You're going to hear from Greg Sampson um, today as well, someone who's been deeply involved in the SIGI Fellows pro uh, Program. Another idea that didn't start with us as IGs sitting around at SIGI thinking, how do we develop a program like that? It started with people in the community who saw the need for it and came forward. And so that's what you're going to hear today. You're going to hear about how to lead change, how to lead people, how to uh, take ideas and move them to fruition. And that's really what we're all about as a community. That's what IGs uh, do. We want to be innovative. We want to lead excellence. We want to lead change. Um, so I'm looking forward to a great day of talks from all sorts of people, some of whom I know. Um, and some of whom I don't know well. And I was looking at the book and uh, reading some of the stuff I got over the weekend. And I know you're going to be um, enjoy every single one of them. So with that, I don't know if I have walk off music. I do have walk off music. So Dave Rudd, my training director, is, is back there. So I have to listen to whatever he tells me. Right, Dave? Is that? Um, <laughs> So I hope my walk off, actually, Dave's a DJ also, or has a DJ, and he, and he bragged to me that he had a whole catalog of songs. So let's see if I can, can I walk off to Baby Shark? Oh, sure, there you go. You can, you, you can sing it? I don't know, do you want to start the leadership forum with a singing of Baby Shark? It could, it could make the Washington Post. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, have a great day. <laughs> All right, well, have a great day, everybody. Um, I'm looking forward to all of your talks, for those of you who are here. Uh, for those of you who are not here with us, uh, thank you for joining us remotely. It's going to be a great day, great event, and go Nats. Go Nats. Thanks, everybody. Woo!